Okay, so this is a 2013 Civic IMA motor, which is rated for 17 kilowatts, the way they use it. Um, it has these bolts all the way around the perimeter. Uh, those and then the three winding uh, uh, taps there are what's holding it onto this IMA frame. Um, so the, the, the uh, communicator for this one is a separate piece. That, um, so I'm going to uh, undo those to be able to remove it from this housing. Okay, so here I'm a motor is removed from the casing. Um, so we have the stator, of course, on the outside, and the rotor, the part that rotates, on the inside. All those little bolts off. With those off and the connection three uh, winding disconnected, it just comes right out. There's no adhesive or anything. On the housing, there's a point here and here that are raised up. Those are little, little lo locators um, for whenever they're putting it in. And that's about as straightforward needs to come out. So here is the 2000 Honda Insight. Um, this is from a 2006. Um, actually, but it's that same Gen 1 um, 10 uh, kilowatt IMA electric motor. Um, here you can see the three uh, position or commutation sensors and the little plate on the flywheel that gives it orientation for the electric motor. That's on this side that goes to the transmission and then on this side which goes to the uh, combustion engine, you can see the bolts holding it to the casing. Um, now I'm going to take those bolts off and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so the uh, flywheel came off the front because um, the uh, stator and rotor come out the back of the motor. Those bolts all came off. Um, you have your communication sensors, your three um, uh, phase wiring, uh, center and centering pin. They kind of allocated in the right place. Um, and this is the Gen 1 Insight 10 kilowatt IMA motor. Rotor, of course, in the middle that rotates. Stay on the outside. You can see the kind of conventional windings here. Now, on the 12 year later uh, third gen Civic IMA, this is from a 2013, but um, the design started in 2012. Um, you can see it's a square um, winding, which improves the fill factor. You have less dead space between the round surfaces of a conventional. Um, and there, Just some crude measurements here. This is not a caliper. This is just eyeballing with a plastic ruler. Um, the total outside diameter, I'm getting about 258 millimeters. It, uh, 17 kilowatt is 275 millimeters. The rotor here on the inside of the insight is about, again, this is eyeballing with a plastic ruler, about 167 millimeters. On the 17 kilowatt third gen Civic IMA motor, that rotor um, diameter, again, plus curly, blah, 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 is about 152 millimeters. Again, this is crude, basic, plastic ruler eyeballing, but I'm seeing 
65 millimeters of thickness on the third gen 17 kilowatt Civic IMA motor. And 70 millimeters on the 10 kilowatt Gen 1 Honda Insight IMA motor. Now this is really interesting and um, uh, promising. The six flywheel points, um, this commutation disc um, from the Gen 1 Insight sitting on top of the Civic um, IMA motor on that transmission side, you can see the bolts actually line up, which is really interesting. <laughs> ah.